Good evening, and welcome to the Pella Amateur Radio Club Monday Night VHF Net. All amateurs are invited to participate in the last call net for Roger, W0ZMU. This is Mike, N0 MPM, and I'll be the net control for this special event. WB zero URW Jim. WB zero UIQ Jim and Oski.
Roger. W0ZMU does not answer. Be advised, W0ZMU has been transferred with high honor from active membership to the Bell Amateur Radio Club Pilot P call. Zero your W. <clears throat> Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, you know, anytime we had uh, severe weather that moved into the Pella area, uh, I'd always go out in the field uh, to storm watch. And anytime we do that with the amateur radio service, it's imperative that we have a, uh, a net controller or somebody that's at home that can uh, get on the phone and, and make important calls if uh, anything is necessary. And I'll tell you, Roger was there 100% of the time. I would go out and call and he was there and he was with me every minute that I was uh, out there storm watching. Very big shoes to fill that uh, somebody's gonna have to, to take over for that. And uh, uh, that's gonna be my, uh, my big thing for missing him. Uh, because he was, uh, it was very important in that area. This is WB Zero URW. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I ever saw a severe weather event where uh, Roger wasn't involved. Any other comments, please call. K Zero BJ Jen. Yes, I knew Roger uh, this fall as 
40 years ago that I met him up in northwest Iowa. And uh, then in the summer of 1986, I got to uh, go work at radio station 8CJB in Quito, Ecuador. And Roger and his wife and daughter lived kind of back across the, the back side of the block from where I lived. And uh, as I recall, I spent July 4 at their house because they had a get-together for a lot of the summer uh, missionaries that were working at the radio station that year. Then you move forward a few years. In 1990, uh, my wife and I moved to Pella and I put up a beam antenna on a tower in the backyard and I had the privilege of running phone patches for one of his daughters that lived there in Pella. And we did that for several years until they moved back to the United States. And uh, then in 2014, uh, I was so excited to find out that they were going to actually move to Pella, Iowa. And that's when uh, all the rest of us got to know him. And uh, yeah, he was a great friend and um, I'm going to miss him greatly. KB0BGU, back to net control. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, are there any comments? Please call. KE0ZZO. KE0ZZO, go ahead. Echo zero foxtrot zero foxtrot. Go ahead, Justin. Uh, yeah, this is Justin here in Knoxville. Um, I guess uh, one anecdote I have, um, uh, you know, being a, a newer-ish ham, uh, especially several years ago when I was living in Tulsa. Roger, uh, I got this uh, Kenwood TS520. <laughs> and so I needed a little help understanding how to run it. Uh, and so he, he took the time, uh, came over, and we went through it, made sure everything was working okay, and I knew what to do not to tear it up. And, uh, and then uh, I didn't have a mic that worked, so uh, he was able to whip something up back at home, and then he brought it, I think, for the next meeting. Uh, then we met again. And, and on 10 meters, and um, um, yeah, I do, <laughs> yeah, there's the comments about um, his Elmering skill, I, I do appreciate that, and, um, and his tutelage on uh, <laughs> secretary notes and things of that nature, so I do appreciate, I do appreciate all of that, and uh, I will miss him a lot, um, and uh, that's why I've got here to talk to him. Thank you, Justin. I think we can all agree that uh, he was probably the most compassionate Elmer that we could ever have. Any other comments?
was interested in getting back in the ham. Uh, Roger was there to, to help. And um, you know, it, he's just a great guy. I know everybody has already said that, but uh, you know, I think any of us that actually knew Roger should feel blessed uh, that we knew him. And you know, he'll never be forgotten. I'm back in that control. That is for sure. Thank you, James. Anybody else want to make a comment? Well, this is in zero FM. Uh, Mike, I would just also like to mention uh, the work and the commitments he had with the Amateur Radio Missionary Service, uh, otherwise known as ARMS. Uh, he was a very, very strong supporter of that uh, group and uh, was checked in almost every day into, the, into those nets. Uh, so very strong supporter of ARMS. And you can see it every time we went to some of the major ham fests, uh, he'd be uh, active at the ARMS table. So if there uh, one last call for any other comments uh, or memories, tonight for this special commemorative net, and I think that in itself says something about what everybody thinks about Roger. Uh, so this uh, ends the commemorative last call net for Roger Stubbe, W0ZMU. Thank you for participating. 73 Roger, and 73 to everybody on the net. This is N0MPM, returning our repeater to the normal operations.